Hello YouTube, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shekzi.com. Today we are going to discuss about the software matrix. Why you need to extract the matrix from the source file. So first of all, what are the matrix? Software matrix are quantitative measurements of a software product or project, which can help management understanding software performance, quality, or the productivity and efficiency of a software teams for suppose if you are working in java that means you have java files and if you are training your model that means you need some data to train your model okay so uh, how can you get the data definitely you can get the data from your uh, source file by using some matrix tools we will discuss about the matrix tools um, but for now what are the matrix for suppose if you are extracting something from the source code that means you have to familiar with how many lines are available in a particular file or in a particular project how many statements are available how many branches are available how many classes methods are available and how many comments are there and uh, how many calls uh, available in the source file or a project uh, i'm talking about uh, the maximum complexity that means uh, you need some maximum complexity that how uh, and maximum depth maximum average depth and maximum complexity so you can extract a lot of properties from your project by using some matrix tools okay so now we are going to discuss about the source monitor source monitor is a matrix tools now go to your google.com and find the source monitor tool so it's source monitor for windows make sure i am the windows user so that's why i am downloading the source monitor version 3.5 uh, for the windows if you uh, if you have linux or something that means you need to download the that version okay so now as you can see this is a source monitor so the official website is camp Woods w dot 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 com dot com okay so this is a software camp so this is the camp wood software okay so now you can also donate so as you can see they are saying collect metrics in a fast single pass through source files or as you can see my years metrics for source code written in c c plus plus c sharp vbnet and java visual basic or html okay so now as you can see included method and, and functionality level metrics for c plus plus c c sharp vb.net java and delphin okay so now download this tool so how can you download as you can see they are saying download source via html or click here for a list of bugs so click on this download it's 2.493 mb file wait for a few seconds so i can easily download this okay now open this yes install this in your drive make sure i'm installing this here you can also change the directory next so it's a source monitor setup will create the programs shortcuts okay shortcuts so don't create shortcuts yes i'm saying create a shortcut so you can also assign a particular folder by clicking the browse button so next so i'm saying that create a desktop shortcut create a quick launch shortcut okay next install so it now we have successfully installed the source monitor version 3.5 okay finish so as you can see this is the interface of source monitor and uh, now you need some source files like java.net 
uh, I, I'm talking about VB.NET or C++ and of course the HTML I'm saying start source monitor click on this now click on the file create a new project for suppose I have a Java project so now click on the Java if you have a HTML project just click on this and uh, hit the next button if you have a C++ project click on this and hit the next button and if you have a C sharp project click on this next I have a Java project Java so as you can see it's saying include static that means all the Java files which have the dot Java click on next now create or write your project name I'm saying first project okay now project file directory where is the project available I have a project file so this is the Java projects now as you can see pet and info system so this is the project and I'm saying this is the folder okay so as you can see file hit the next button so now as you can see it's saying select source files by extensions select search directory and optional subdirectories I am saying that I have a Java desktop I have a Java project so this is the project and this these are the files okay now I am saying source code subdirectory I'm saying fetch all the subdirectory you can also say that no subdirectories or you can also customize by selecting your folders or files I'm saying collect all subdirectories now hit the next button I'm saying used modify complexity matrix I'm saying do not count blank line I'm saying ignore continuous header and footer comments okay now you can also uncheck these so it's totally depend upon you click on the next button now as you can see it's saying select project file storage format so these are the two formats available dot smp or dot smp project I'm saying okay fine hit the next button now this is the checkpoint name I'm saying all project or all files all files okay now I'm saying hit the next button you can also allow parsing of UTF-8 files I'm saying next now it's ready to go click finish to create project as a specified above so these are the list now click on this so now as you can see your tool has find some files available in these directories so as you can see this dot java doctor dot java so all the extensions which have dot java or as you can see i'm saying find all the dot java files you can uh, also say find all the dot html files so now i'm saying find all the dot html files so it's totally depend upon you for now it's a java file java now okay hit the ok button so now as you can see you have okay now as you can see these are the properties available and uh, in simple words you have extracted the information or the data from the files using data matrix tool okay so now as you can see this is the checkpoint click double click on this so as you can see it's giving you the overview that how many lines these are the lines how many lines available in this dis.java file and how many statements available branches and as you can see it's how many calls available comments classes methods average method maximum complexity maximum depth average depth and the average complexity make sure uh, this is the tool uh, a lot of tools uh, a lot of matrix tools 
अवेलेबल सो इट्स टोटली डिपेंड अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द टूल फॉर सपोज सोर्स मॉनिटर टूल्स इज गिविंग यू दीज मैट्रिक्स फॉर सपोज इफ यू हैव सी 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 इट्स अ टूल इफ यू हैव दैट टूल इट विल गिव यू सम अदर प्रॉपर्टीज और सम अदर मैट्रिक्स ओके सो नाउ आई एम सेंग जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस इट नाउ इट्स गिविंग यू द ओवर व्यू ऑफ दिस डॉट जावा फाइल एज यू कैन सी इट्स गिविंग यू द हिस्टोग्राम ओके सो एज यू कैन सी इट्स सेंग फाइल नेम दिस लाइन ऑफ कोर्स स्टेटमेंट्स पर्सन branches methods calls person line classes methods a lot of uh, properties available related with this as you can see it's saying most complexity complex method in one class means it's we are talking about this the most complex method is one so as you can see 1 2 3 so these are the most complex methods so as you can see it's saying complexity 5 and statements 43 it's also giving you saying maximum depth 4 and calls 41 so as you can see this methods you are calling or someone calling this dis method 94 times so as you can see it's saying calls and depth is 2 and statements 143 available the complexity is 1 so you can uh, also click on this and you can uh, create oh, okay so now click on this okay i'm saying now you can also create some other checkpoints right click and now create new checkpoint as you can see it's saying remove these line these files Hit this, as you can see, it's giving you dis dot java. Now I am saying this checkpoint name is dis file. Now hit the OK button. So now as you can see, it's giving you the informations only related for a single file which you have selected. This click on this, as you can see, it's giving you the line of code two to three lines line of code available, two to zero statements. 2.0 branches as you can see it's saying calls one 136 calls available the comments 0.9 percent class 1 method 3.0 average and all the properties related with the this file is available you can close you can also create some other uh you can also check chart project matrix so as, as you can see it's giving you the chart project matrix and you can right click you can also disable checkpoint matrix summary you can also delete a particular checkpoint you can also rename the checkpoint you can also modify checkpoint creation date so it's totally depend upon you that how you are managing and uh, what are the requirement so i think uh, this is enough uh, you can also play with this tools so it's always i am shahzad ahmed from shekzi.com if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses our videos and don't forget to click the subscriber button so thank you for watching